Sweet Talk Radio do not own copyright for this copyrighted material, but under Section 107 United States Copyright Office, Copyright Act 1976, this video, the music and content it contains is for education and or entertainment purposes only. All right, I know people have been sitting there, but I got to bring this queen up here. B. Sparrow. B. Sparrow. I'll just keep my heart. What's up, Beast Sparrow? Hey, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Beast Sparrow Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. I can't call it, I can't call it. But how y'all doing this morning? All praises to the most high, y'all, for waking me up this morning. I'm so thankful, so grateful. And if you are within the sound of my voice, I'm thankful that he woke you up this morning too. Woo, y'all, I got this article I want to read, but let me go and fetch it right quick. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. <laughs> What is up, y'all? You're listening to B Sparrow on Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Making money online is not an easy thing to do. I know this, but I found these apps that will allow you to make money online simply by playing games on your cell phone. And I know you're not going to believe me. It's okay. Perhaps there'll be more cash for me, but I just deposited $20 into my PayPal account from playing games on my cell phone. So, you don't have to believe me, but if you want to try it out, I left the links in the description box, the Just Play app, and the Mode app. These two apps allow you to make money while playing video games and listening to music. Don't take my word for it. Go to the description box. Find the link, click on them, and sign up. I promise you, you won't regret it. So a Chicago church is fasting from whiteness, y'all. <laughs> According to the New York Post, and this article was written on April 6, 2022, a Chicago area church announces it's fasting from whiteness during Lent. A church in suburban Chicago said it is fasting from whiteness during Lent, the 40-day period preceding Easter, by abstaining from performing hymns composed or written by white musicians. First United Church of Oak Park announced on its website that it is doing a mix of giving something up and taking something on. And our worship services throughout Lent, we will not be using any music or any liturgy, liturgy written by or composed by white people. Our music will be drawn from the African-American spiritual tradition, from South Africa freedom songs, from Native American traditions, and many, many more. For <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> for Lent, it is our prayer that in our spiritual disciplines, we may grow as Christians united in the body of Christ with people of all ages, nations, races, and origins. <laughs> the church added, excuse me for laughing, but it's funny. <laughs> uh, the House of Worship also erected a fasting from whiteness sign on its front lawn, according to Turning Point USA which reported that the church is using reflections and thoughts called evotionals <laughs> for the fast. The outlet obtained alleged screenshots of a March 29th entry titled Kindness and Privileges. Kindness and Privilege. 
We honor our fast from whiteness this Lent by prioritizing the voice of Bruce Reed's Chow through a chapter of his book, In Defense of Kindness, a reported Lee says about the minor pastor, the minority pastor. A reportedly says about the. You know what? The New York Post need to have someone um, <laughs> reread their articles before they post them. No, seriously, seriously. It says we honor our fast from whiteness this Lent by prioritizing the voice of Bruce Reeves Chow through a chapter of his book, In Defense of Kindness. It reportedly says about the minority pastor. Reese Chow authored the 2016 book, Don't Be in a Shot, an official handbook for raising parents and children, and 2013's But I Don't See You as Asian, Curating conversations about race. The excerpt published by Turning Point USA says people who oppose violent protest speak from a place of privilege and should therefore refrain from trying to stop them. For many of us, being uncomfortable about public protest or what we perceive as aggressive expressions of frustrations simply identifies our privilege and our ability to shield ourselves from the struggles that are facing, that we are facing or that others are facing, he reportedly wrote. Most people do not engage in public protest or in expressing anger that may put risk on their life, work, or status. So when groups of people are pushed to their boiling point, the least helpful thing to do is to silence them. No, people aren't protesting anymore because the shit don't work. Simple. We've been protesting since the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and we're still going through the same things that we were going through in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Anyway, back to the article. <sighs> First United Church members were encouraged to view the whiteness free services on its YouTube channel. Turning Point USA reported in a video posted by the church, the Reverend Lydia Mulkey, identified as the Associate Pastor of Education, explained the fast, the Washington Times reported. It says Lent 2022, Fasting from Whiteness. For Lent this year, First United is doing a mix of giving something up and taking something on in our worship services throughout Lent. We will not be using any music written or composed by white people. Our music will be drawn from African American spiritual tradition, from South African freedom songs, from Native American traditions, and many, many more. For Lent, it is our prayer that in our spiritual disciplines, we may grow as Christians united in the body of Christ with people of all ages. And I don't know why they posted this again in the article. So that made me read it twice. In the this fast from whiteness, of course, I cannot change the color of my skin or the way that allows me to move through the world but I can change what I listen to, whose voice I prioritize, Mulkey said. And so that is kind of the praise or the place for our worship service through Lent that we will fast for a time from prioritizing white voices, she added. The Reverend John Edgerton, the church's lead pastor, did not respond to requests for comment by the Washington Times. The Reverend Craig Howard, the executive presbyter of the United Church's Chicago District, told the paper that he had not been aware of the fast at First United, but he said he supported the move. I find it's like a reversal of the, of the racialized reality in which we live, Howard told the Washington Times. Where 
in this reality, the assumption is that what is to be known is what the majority culture, the white culture, determines or says. These are the rules. How would say it, it sounds to me that they're kind of flipping it, saying instead of making the majority voice the loudest voice, we're going to listen to the minor players who have not been heard in the past and make them the prim primary players again. They did not say we're going to ignore the white voice. We're just going to now just tone it down and see what voice has come to the top and see what message we may get from those voices, he added. Wow, seems like somebody is going through a bit of guilt um, in their community. And that's to be expected. Uh, we want y'all to feel guilty. Okay, I want y'all to feel guilty. I'm not going to speak for everybody. Uh, this article is bonkers. That's the kind of, these are the kind of articles that the New York Post writes. But this one, whew, hey, I'm going to let y'all talk about it. I'm going to let y'all talk about it. So let me know what y'all think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Not just to my YouTube channel, but come on over here to my podcast on Spreaker.com. Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Follow me there. And in return, I'll do the same. It's your girl, Be Sparrow. Buzz Tweet Talk Radio. Holla at y'all, girl. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs>